All right, so let's moving on. After we did that, we just kind of watched some Christmas movies and nibble on some more food and uh, it was a pretty good day, um, but it was late by the time we had gotten to do that being my aunt had come. She had come around eight o'clock. No, 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 she left around eight o'clock. She came around six o'clock. So by the time we made all the food and got it out and ate it and opened presents and all that stuff, uh, it was pretty late. So uh, we didn't stay up too much longer after that when we went to bed. So yeah, so then Saturday we woke when we woke up, um, we always ate breakfast and did our, you know, got dressed, all that stuff. Um, and then, uh, we didn't do a whole heck of a lot, but, uh, a little heads up on my brother's channel, JM Mac 11 uh, if you guys would love to go, I would love for you guys to go over there and subscribe and like his videos because he does gaming videos and if you like to watch people play, COD or I don't even know all the other ones that he plays but go over there if you like watching ga gamer channels or gaming stuff um but he got uh we he had actually got a call that Saturday morning saying that he his um Xbox One came in so that's pretty exciting it was pretty awesome I will say so myself um not that I played it but uh, he pretty much played it all day um and I have a photo uh, that I will place in here um, of the game that he was playing and I've got to definitely say it was a pretty freaking awesome game. It was called Forza Mo uh, Motorsport 5 and this game literally it's a racing game but literally it was so realistic. You could pick like any car in the world but pretty much that you wanted to race and it was like when I say that it was so realistic not only did the cars look like real but when you hit something or when somebody hits you and it depending on what spot of the car you hit it could actually really screw your car up to the point where you almost can't drive or you might even blow up um, and but it was really really neat and um, I would definitely say that if you are into gaming and you like racing, that was that's definitely a game to pick up for the Xbox One. So pretty much he played that all morning. Um, we didn't do too much but watch him play that pretty much all morning. Um, me and my mom did a few things on the computer and stuff and I checked my like my YouTube and my Twitter and my Facebook and all that stuff to see what was going on. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all we did all morning. But then Saturday afternoon, uh, me and my mom went to go buy tickets to go see Catching Fire. And I will explain more about that in a little bit later. Um, but yeah, we went and got those. And let me tell you, holy moly, I know that it is Christmas, okay? But literally the mall, okay, the, the, it was the Galaxy uh, Cineplex that we went to go see it when we went to go get the tickets, but there was a mall like next to it and holy moly, it was insanely busy. Like I'm not even kidding. There were people walking everywhere, vehicles driving everywhere. I didn't even go into the mall. I could only imagine how crazy in the actual mall was, but uh, yeah. So by the time we finally got out of that parking lot and got back home, uh, Again, didn't do too much, did some things on the computer again, watched my brother play that Forza, which I think is what I just called it, right? Forza? Yeah, Forza 5 game. Um, and his friend Dan came over, so uh, we were talking with him and he was playing the game as well. And uh, yeah, we just kind of did a lot of catching up, a lot of talking and a lot of just watching my brother play this game. <laughs> and him showing us like all the really new different features and stuff like that to do with the uh, Xbox One which I don't know if he's gonna do a video about like his reaction on the Xbox One, his first reaction or something like that, but uh, look, for, please, uh, look forward to seeing some pretty amazing videos, I think on his channel with the Xbox One. And uh, I think that's the only game that he has right now for that system, but I'm sure he'll have more. And uh, if you'd like to actually go over to his channel and write in one of the, in the comments in his first video, his last video, which I believe he talked about um, what kind of computer he and software and stuff he uses to record with and you know let him know more other games maybe that uh, he could play with that or something like that or just techniques or something that he can do with his videos with the new Xbox One um, and yeah and subscribe because he would love that and I would love that and we would all just love that. <laughs> so anyways Moving on, um, after my mom had gone, actually after 
we all kind of just sat around watching him play this. My mom went and had a nap before we went to go see the movie. And then my brother's friend, Adam is his name. I don't know if I'm allowed to even say his name, but he's giving me permission to talk about his children who are actually twins and they are my brother's godchildren. So that was pretty awesome to find out that news too. Um, and let me tell you guys, they are freaking adorable and I will post photos of them because his, his parent or their parents did let me uh, do that. So I will post a photo right here of them. Um, and yeah, they are super adorable, let me tell you guys. And yes, they are twins. I think the word is paternal twins because they're a boy and a girl. Um, so they're not identical. Um, but they are freaking adorable, so sweet. Um, the little boy's got the cutest little chubby cheeks and a little pouty lip and she's just on her own little world because literally she started just started to like crawl and now she wants to try and walk and all this stuff so she's pretty adventurous and uh, so she didn't really, well she let us hold her because I will tell you that when my brother had, my brother at first had her and then he had given her off to me and uh, she took to me pretty well, I will say for sure. Um, she, But she really didn't want to like be held the entire time. She wanted to like get on her feet so she could stand there while I was holding her hands in my hands and she was just kind of standing in front of me because I don't think she can actually walk yet but she apparently is trying. Um, oh, by the way, they are 10 months old. They were 10 months last Monday. So that's how those two are. And anyways, so going back into my story, uh, my one, it was time for my mom to wake up. Me and my brother took the twins up to her bedroom to wake her up. And uh, obviously she was surprised and happy to see them. But uh, once my mom had kind of like got out of the bed and was just sitting on the bed um, with her feet like over the bed, right? Um, I had tried to give, um, oh, well, I guess I should tell you their names. The girl's name is Kiana and the boy's name is Landon. Super sweet names, super unique names, I love them. Um, but I tried to give Kiana off to my mom and she literally started like crying and screaming and like doing the whole like, give me back, give me back. And so that was really sweet. I thought that was really cute and I wanted to share that with you guys because I love babies and when they take to me like that, it's pretty awesome, I think. So yeah. Um, all right, so once my mom woke up, we just kind of like played with the babies, watched them walk around or crawl around on the floor and stuff like that because you can't help but watch a baby do things because babies are just cute. Anyway, so um, then me and my, my mom went off to see uh, the movie Catching Fire, which let me tell you, I think was freaking amazing. I saw the first one literally like a week before I'd seen Catching Fire. Don't ask. You probably know that I got Catching Fire last Christmas and I really just haven't had time to watch it. So I watched it the week before I went down to go see my parents. And Catching Fire is definitely like 10 times better than the first one, like Hunger Games. That was, it was really, really good. Intense, definitely on the edge of your seat type watching you never really knew what was going to happen next and i haven't read the books either so i really had absolutely no idea what was actually going on um so yeah it was really awesome though i will definitely say that right now and um, i'm now just gonna put a below me right here spoiler alert because i'm gonna tell you talk about um a question i guess that get probably get answered when people talk about movies is what your favorite part is so spoiler alert <laughs> uh do if you have not seen catching fire please either mute the video or like scroll the little bar at the bottom there <laughs> past when i'm talking about it at the end when i'm done talking i will say um unmute your volume or like turn your volume back on or something like that so that you guys can you know, know when I'm, when I'm done talking about it. So my favorite part of the movie, I have to actually say that this is really hard for me because I definitely need to see the movie again for sure. I when it comes out on, on uh, DVD, I will definitely be getting it. But uh, I really liked, I think the part that stands out in my head the most is when that crazy girl, um, wires or wireless, um, when she starts going like, when they find each other on, um, uh, when Katniss, Peeta, Finnick, and Megs wasn't there at the time, uh, when they found, um, the dark guy, which I'm not sure what his name is, and Wyrus, 
what was his name? Deidre or something like that. When, and that crazy like rebellious chick. I don't even know what her name was. I had a list of all the names, but I forgot to bring it in here. But anyways, when they met on the beach and then the wires started like going tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. And the dark guy was like, um, was like, oh, she's just gone like crazy or something like that. When he, when she did that, and Katniss was trying to like figure out why she kept saying that and then she did. She, it, that was pretty cool. I thought that was a pretty awesome part. She was just like all of a sudden she was like, oh my god, the clock does this and this at this section does that and that section does that. And that was really neat. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I obviously liked that when Katniss um, re finally realized that she really loved PETA um, at the beginning before they actually go into the arena. And, uh, you know, she kept saying to their like trainer guy, can't remember his name. Um, when they kept saying, when she kept saying to him, like, make sure Peta lives, don't let him die, all this stuff. And uh, they got those like gold tokens, which I thought was really neat that each one had their own little gold token, which I thought that was, I thought that was really cool too. Um, I don't know. I think that those were probably my two most outstanding parts in the movie that I really liked. Obviously I liked all the like crazy action parts. I jumped a lot in the movie. So there's no way that you can sleep through this movie. I'm just telling you that right now. Literally it scared the bejeebers out of me <laughs> half the time. Um, but my, the Adam, the guy, the father of those twins, he had went and seen it and he said he fell asleep where he slept through the first like hour of the movie, which I could just like kind of understand because it was more of like talking and then one going to each of the um, districts and talking to each of the districts about what yeah, they he had fallen about. asleep through the first hour. And now he said he was sick too, so that didn't probably didn't. He said that probably didn't. Uh, anyways, I don't know how he slept through it, but I guess he did. And I could, like I said, I could understand the beginning anyhow. But uh, he actually said he didn't like the movie either, so. We were trying to definitely convince him to go see it again because there's no way that you can't like this movie. Literally, it is freaking amazing. The only way you might not like the movie is something my dad actually came out with. Now, he wants to actually go see the movie too, so... I'm not gonna say that he doesn't like the movie or doesn't want to go see the movie because he doesn't want to go see it. But he said, he's a big Stephen King fan, and he said that there was a book and a movie called The Running Man, I believe is what he said, that is like basically exactly the same as Hunger Games is. So if you're a Stephen King fan, maybe you're like sitting there going like, well, why would I go see that when I've already seen The Running Man? And there, you know, there's no way it's just stupid. They just did the same movie, but different people in different ways. Um, but uh, I honestly say that I could see how maybe you don't want to go see it because of that. But honest to God, I mean, I've never seen The Running Man, but my dad did explain to me like the, the similarities to it. But I have to definitely say that you should go see this one anyways. It is a lot more modern, obviously, and um, it, it's really good. That's all I can say. It is really amazing video. I will definitely say that, or film or movie or whatever you want to call it. It is definitely amazing. And I will definitely be going to go see the last two movies. The last two movies, I believe, are split in two. They are the last book, which because there's only three books, but they split the last one in two. I don't know where they're going to split the last one into, but I have absolutely no idea what's even going on in the last one. And um, just to kind of recap the end of, of Catching Fire, I am completely 100% confused about what the heck happened at the last like 20 minutes of Catching Fire because like I said, I haven't read the books. So I'm completely 100% confused about the ending, um, but they did definitely throw it at me pretty, pretty fast too. So I think I definitely need to go watch it again and just really pay attention to exactly what's going on. But uh, I don't know. My So my mom keeps telling me I should go read the third book so that I know what's actually going on at the end of that and what's supposed to happen. But I don't know if I want to spoil it. I mean, I kind of do, but first of all, I don't read. I, I will be complete 100% honest with you. I read like magazines and like stuff that I have to read like at work and stuff like that. But I'm really not a big novel person, especially a book that big. I'm really not into that. So my, my mom did suggest maybe going and getting it on audio, which that's a really neat idea. 
but I'm still contemplating like should I go see it shouldn't I go should I go listen to it should I not go listen to it should I just wait till next year when the film comes out although probably because it's split in two I'm probably gonna be confused at the end of the second or the first part of the third book uh, or third movie um, I'm probably gonna be confused then too so let me know in the comments below what you guys think should I go and listen to it on audio or should I just wait till next year until the movie comes out? You tell me what you guys think. Please actually tell me this one because I know I have 60 subscribers out there who could try, could really, really please tell me what I should do because I'm really debating a lot a hard on this one. So please let me know in the comments below or tweet me um, and let me know what I should do because I don't know. And also too, if you guys could know any good audiobook apps um, or even online like audiobook places, um, if you do think I should go listen to it, write those down in the comments too below and I will definitely be looking into that and figuring out what I should buy and where I should buy from. So anyways, that is pretty much my, and the end of my review of the video um, and what my favorite parts were and stuff. So you can turn your volume back on now. I will put it up on the screen here. Uh, spoilers are over. Um, but if you have, I will tell you right now though, because I did say that at the end, but I was still talking about the movie, that if you have not seen Catching Fire, go see Catching Fire because it's freaking amazing. If you haven't seen the first one, you probably should go see the first one first, like rent it or something or borrow it from a friend um, just because you won't be completely confused if you don't see the first one, but I feel like the first one really explains like the districts and the uh, people and that sort of thing. So you should probably go see that one before you see the second one, but I definitely will say go see Catching Fire for sure. It's really awesome. All right, so. Moving on to the rest of my weekend. I hope this video isn't getting too long. Um, but uh, so after the movie, we went home and we pretty much just crashed. We like munched on a few more like finger foodie type things because all we had at the theater was popcorn and a drink. And so yeah, then that's pretty much all we did. We didn't even, I don't, like we watched a little, there was a hockey game on so we like kind of watched that a little bit. Um, but uh, we pretty much just went to bed after that. So yeah. And then Sunday when we woke up in the morning, um, we really didn't do much at all Sunday. I will definitely say that we were all pretty pooped from all the action that did happen during the weekend and meeting all the people and visiting and talking and all that stuff. So we really didn't have much else to actually say to each other. So we kind of just watched some Christmas movies in the morning. Um, didn't even eat breakfast, I will be completely honest. My mom had these, this small bag, they were probably about this big, of uh, peanut butter chocolate checks. They were so good and I pretty much ate the whole half, like half a bag of those uh, on Sunday morning, which was probably not good for me, but well, it was checks, it was cereal, right? That's still considered breakfast. I don't know, but it was really good. And I, uh, but yeah, that's pretty much all I ate that morning. And um, yeah, we really didn't, like I said, we really didn't do much Sunday morning. We just kind of sat there watching Christmas movies. Um, maybe about an hour or so before me and my husband left. I went upstairs because my brother was up there with his Xbox One uh, playing that, uh, what did I call that again? <laughs> Fenza, Frenza? I just have my iPod here. I'm just looking up the picture. Forza, the Forza 5 game. He was still playing that um, Sunday morning. So I went up to kind of watch him play that and we were just scrolling through the cars and watching like the little clip bits and stuff like that for each of the races and things which were pretty cool. I am I do like cars for sure and I'm very into like the vintage -y type stuff. So uh, it was kind of neat to watch that with my brother and spend some time with him. And then we packed the truck up and we went home. And that was pretty much my weekend after when we got home we just unpacked and did laundry and went grocery shopping and all the boring things that you have to do in life to move on in life. Um, so yeah, but I will definitely say I had a really great weekend and I thank my family and my friends for all the um, you know, lovely stories and stuff like that that I got to hear and obviously all the amazing gifts. Um, I'm definitely more of a giver than I am a 
receiver of gifts so I like to watch everybody else open theirs before I even get anywhere near mine. I could have like the biggest pile of presents in front of me and I would rather watch everybody else so but thank you very much for all the gifts and thanks for letting me visit and talk and thank you to my aunt and Adam and the babies for coming and visiting me. I enjoyed your company and I am glad to have met both of your babies and I hope to be seeing them again soon. I probably won't be seeing anybody again now in my family till spring, which is sad, but it's hard to travel there in the winter time with the slippery roads and the miserable weather that we get here in Canada. So I usually don't go see them again till spring, but hopefully I will see everybody then. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, Next week, I realized that this is the beginning of the month, so you're probably wondering why this isn't a favorites video, and that's just because I really wanted to talk about my weekend and let you guys know what I was actually doing last weekend. So my favorites video will be next weekend, the weekend after that will be my top box, and then hopefully, crossing my fingers that the weekend after Christmas, I will be doing my Christmas decoration slash house tour then, so look forward to that. Um, don't hopefully we don't get our hopes up too much because I really don't know what's going on um, I find I promise you guys things and then other things come up and I feel so bad for letting you guys down But I am hoping and praying and finger crossing that that weekend will definitely be my Christmas decoration slash house tour So yes, and actually funny story too Ingrid is doing the same thing like that exact same weekend too So that's really cool. She just moved into an apartment and she said she was going to be doing her apartment tour that weekend too so two uh, house slash apartment tours in the same weekend and uh, yeah, I'll link her channel down below if you guys don't already aren't already subscribed to her or don't already watch her videos but anyways so I hope you guys had a fantastic weekend yourself and I am now going to stop talking because my throat's getting dry and you guys are probably getting bored as heck now so I will see you guys all next weekend in my next video bye